The air we breathe should sustain us, but for billions, cooking is a dangerous threat. Open fires fill homes with toxic smoke. Millions breathe in deadly pollutants. This is happening now, claiming lives silently. Wood, charcoal and biomass fuels are culprits. Traditional methods release harmful substances, linked to millions of deaths each year. Who estimates nearly four million die prematurely? The youngest and oldest are most vulnerable. Children risk pneumonia. Adults face lung cancer, stroke and heart disease. Women and girls bear a disproportionate burden. The impact reverberates through families and communities. A global crisis, tightest in sub-Saharan Africa. Reliance on solid fuels is widespread and devastating. Clean cooking solutions save lives. The numbers tell a sobering story. The World Health Organization estimates that over 2.6 billion people still rely on polluting cookstoves and open fires. Household air pollution causes 3.8 million premature deaths each year. That is more than HIV, AIDS, malaria and tuberculosis combined. Over 90% of sub-Saharan Africa lacks access to clean cooking technologies. The costs are staggering, encompassing healthcare expenses, lost productivity and premature deaths. The relentless demand for firewood and charcoal is fueling another crisis deforestation. As forests are cleared to meet the energy needs of growing populations, the environmental consequences are severe. Trees, vital for absorbing carbon dioxide and mitigating climate change, are disappearing at an alarming rate. Deforestation contributes to soil erosion, loss of biodiversity and increased greenhouse gas emissions. The cycle is self-defeating. As forests dwindle, women and children must travel farther to collect firewood, perpetuating the cycle of poverty and environmental degradation. The loss of forests also has profound implications for wildlife. Habitats are destroyed, pushing countless species towards extinction. The delicate balance of ecosystems is disrupted with far-reaching consequences for the planet's health and our own. The World Bank estimates that deforestation accounts for about 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. This contributes to climate change, leading to more extreme weather events, rising sea levels and other devastating impacts. The fight for clean cooking is not just about protecting human health, it is about preserving the planet for future generations. The reliance on solid fuels for cooking and heating traps millions in a vicious cycle of poverty. The time spent collecting firewood or earning money to purchase charcoal robs families of opportunities for education, income generation and leisure. Children, especially girls, are often kept home from school to assist with these tasks, perpetuating the cycle of poverty. The health consequences of indoor air pollution place a significant economic burden on families and communities. Healthcare costs, lost productivity and premature deaths drain resources that could be invested in education, infrastructure and economic development. The World Bank estimates that indoor air pollution costs the global economy trillions of dollars each year in healthcare expenses, lost productivity and premature deaths. The economic toll is particularly heavy in developing countries where access to healthcare is limited and the informal economy is prevalent. Breaking this cycle requires a multi-pronged approach, investing in clean cooking technologies, promoting sustainable forestry practices, and empowering women with alternative income-generating activities are crucial steps towards a healthier and more prosperous future. Section 5 UN Sustainable Development Goal 7 a beacon of hope. In 2015, the United Nations adopted 17 sustainable development goals to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure peace and prosperity. Goal 7 focuses on ensuring access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. Target 7.1 calls for universal access to modern energy services by 2030. This includes access to clean cooking fuels and technologies, essential for health and the environment. Achieving Goal 7 requires global cooperation and action. Governments, international organisations and the private sector must work together. Together we can ensure a healthier and more sustainable future for all. Section 7. The New Stove. A Spark of Change. 
In response to the pressing need for clean cooking solutions, Eritrea developed an innovative and efficient cook stove designed to address the country's unique challenges. This new stove is a testament to Eritrean ingenuity and determination. The stove is designed to burn biomass fuels more efficiently, reducing fuel consumption and harmful emissions. Its innovative design allows for better heat transfer, reducing cooking time and improving energy efficiency. This translates to less firewood needed, saving time, money and precious forests. The new stove is also designed with user friendliness in mind. Its simple design and durable construction make it easy to use and maintain, even in remote areas with limited access to spare parts and technical expertise. The development of the new stove is a significant step towards addressing the challenges of indoor air pollution, deforestation and energy poverty in Eritrea. It is a symbol of hope and a testament to the power of innovation to drive positive change. 250,000 fuel-efficient customised stoves, Adnet Magogo, distributed in the past 18 years since the programme was launched in 2006. The Adonet Stove won seven prestige international awards, the Green Apple Award, the Tech Museum Award, the Esden German Expo Award, Japan Award and Ireland Vita Award. Scientific studies have shown that a stove will save about five tonnes of CO2 emissions over the lifetime of the stove by reducing the amount of wood burned. Section 8. Barriers to Adoption, Overcoming the Challenges Despite the clear benefits of clean cooking technologies like the Adhanit stove, significant barriers hinder their widespread adoption. These barriers are complex and interconnected, requiring a multifaceted approach to overcome. One significant barrier is the initial cost of purchasing a clean cook stove. For many families living in poverty, even a small upfront investment can be prohibitive. This is further complicated by limited access to credit or financing options. Another challenge is the cultural attachment to traditional cooking methods. Many communities have been using open fires and traditional stoves for generations and change can be slow. Overcoming these ingrained habits requires sensitivity, education and community engagement. Lack of awareness about the health risks associated with indoor air pollution is another obstacle. Many people are unaware of the silent killer lurking in their kitchens, making it difficult to motivate behaviour change. Effective health education and awareness campaigns are crucial. Section 9 Community Sensitisation and Health Education – The Keys to Change Addressing the complex challenge of transitioning to clean cooking technologies requires a multi-pronged approach that goes beyond simply providing stoves. Community sensitization and health education are crucial for driving adoption and ensuring sustainable change. Community engagement is key. Working closely with local communities, understanding their needs and concerns and involving them in the design and implementation of clean cooking programs are essential for success. Health education campaigns can raise awareness about the dangers of indoor air pollution and the benefits of clean cooking. These campaigns can be tailored to specific audiences such as women, children and community leaders using culturally appropriate messages and communication channels. Training programs can equip community members with the knowledge and skills to use and maintain clean cook stoves effectively. This can include practical demonstrations, troubleshooting tips and information on accessing spare parts and repair services. Section 10, a call to action, clearing the air, securing the future. The fight for clean cooking is not just about technology, it is about people. It is about protecting the health of millions, preserving the environment for future generations and empowering women with safer, healthier and more productive lives. This is a call to action for governments, international organisations, the private sector and individuals to prioritise clean cooking solutions. We need increased investment in research and development innovative financing mechanisms to make clean cook stoves more affordable and accessible, and stronger policy frameworks to support the transition to clean cooking. We must amplify the voices of those most affected by this crisis, particularly women and girls, and empower them to lead the way in advocating for change. Let us work together to clear the air, protect our planet, and create a brighter, healthier future for all.